Hey guys, it's Kay, I hope you're all well. Now in today's video, I want to introduce you to a new Android TV launcher that I've found. So at the moment, I'm on my Nvidia Shield TV, and of course we've got our standard Android TV home screen. You know, the one with all the ads and annoying features. And I'm sure you'll agree with me that it can be a frustrating affair navigating around this home screen. And to top it off, it's a fairly boring setup, which hasn't been changed in years. So with this TV launcher, which is available on the Google Play Store, you can go from this to this. And wow, isn't that amazing? The difference is like chalk and cheese. We're getting that live, colourful, interesting background, which in this case is a look through a window on a dark, wet cityscape. So join me in this video as I take you through all the settings you can enjoy with this Android TV launcher. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, reviews and unboxings, I do everything including Fire Stick, Raspberry Pi and Android TV tips and tricks. So subscribe and hit the notification button. So you gotta admit, this TV launcher looks pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of Blade Runner. And of course we're getting that rain effect on the window which makes it look even cooler. And if we take a closer look, you can see that we get a pre-installed weather widget which you can customise to the location that you're in. Now you've also got access to your favourite apps on the top row here. And you can also add more of your favourite apps. And below that we've got easy access to all of your apps which makes it easier to find all your apps a lot quicker. Now another cool feature here is that you've actually got access to a memory cleaner which is on the same tile as the weather widget. And all you need to do to access it is just slide across on the weather widget and then just click on the release button to let it do its work. Now let's go back a step and see what you get when you first install this TV launcher. On the top left hand corner we've got our settings cog and this is going to give us access to our regular Android TV settings. Now next to that we've got our Wi-Fi access and settings and on the far right hand corner we've got our time settings where we can adjust our day and time on the system. And of course, if you click on the weather widget, you get the whole week's forecast for the area you're in. And of course, you've got other readings like humidity, wind and visibility. Now, if you click on the settings in the top right hand corner, you get the following options. You can set auto location on so that the weather widget automatically detects your location and gives you the weather forecast for that region. Or you can do what I've done and choose manual location and just specify your location by typing in the city name. So I'm going to quickly type in London and just press return and voila, you're set for London. Now the other thing you can do while you're here is change the temperature unit. Just click on the temperature unit bar and it will toggle between Fahrenheit and centigrade. And there you go guys, with a couple of clicks you've got your weather system set up. Now if you want to access that memory clear up widget that I mentioned before, just slide across when you're on the weather widget and it will pop up. And to activate it, just click on release and watch those numbers go down. Okay, moving on down to the next row where it says my apps. This is a row which you can customise with your favourite apps that you most frequently use. So they're just a button click away. Now to add your favourite apps, simply click on the plus tile and then just select the apps you want from your pre-installed apps. So I'm going to choose this one here and it appears magically as a first tile. And I'm going to select the next one which is Asheville 8 and it magically again it appears next to that tile. Now you can keep on going until you fill that row. Don't worry, you're not just limited to what's visible on that row. Because as it fills up with your favourite apps, you're able to scroll across and choose exactly which app you want to open. As you can see here, I'm able to scroll left and all the way to the right and back again. Now if you can't find what you're looking for on your favourites bar, just simply scroll down and you'll see all your apps. And while we're here, let's take a look at wallpapers, as there's a dedicated app tile for it. So this app lets you preview wallpapers and screensavers and download them as well. And it lets you download those live wallpapers like I showed you in the beginning of the video. So we've got access to dynamic wallpapers, static wallpapers, a combination and real-time wallpapers. And of course you get the opportunity to save these as your wallpaper and your screensaver. So let's take a look at the dynamic wallpapers. And you can see straight away we've got a ton of choices. You've got Christmas trees, globes, let's try this fireworks one. And there you go guys, you've got a really cool dynamic wallpaper with fireworks going off in the background. And of course there's tons more in this section with a globe-like effect for the Christmas. Now if that wasn't enough, you've even got a snow section. For instance, let's try this snow scene. And that's pretty cool, I can imagine that at night time. And carrying on down the list, we've got clouds. As you can see, all the dynamic themes are pretty relaxed and functional. None of them are too busy, to the point where they're going to distract you. The point is to have a calming, relaxing backdrop to enhance your productivity. So that was just space we looked at. And the next one down is C, which is personally one of my favourites. I suppose it reminds me of my holidays. And this one in particular is a firm favourite. Just so relaxing. Anyway, let's take a quick look at the last few remaining ones. And the next one down is Design. Not really my thing, this one. But for some, they're going to love it. So this is like bubbles on water. 
Now if you do like the look of a theme, you just simply select the download button and it will automatically start downloading. And once it's downloaded, you'll get the options to set up the home screen and screensaver. So click on setup, and then you get the options to set it up as wallpaper, set as screensaver, or set it up as both. So I've set it up as both, so it should appear as screensaver and as the background. And there you go guys, you've got your interesting backdrop, which you have to admit looks pretty cool. Now you've also got options to choose a static wallpaper or screensaver, a combination, or a real-time screensaver of wallpaper. And the static ones are pretty interesting as well. You've got football, ocean, lake, snow mountain, architecture, racing cars, and artwork. And of course my favorite, forest. Now you've also got two other options for your screensaver or background, which are combination, which scrolls between four different backgrounds at a predetermined time, which you can change in the settings. Now lastly, we can set up the screensaver and background in real-time mode, which means the backgrounds on your screen will transition between three different pictures depending on what time of day it is in your region. So you get that morning, evening and nighttime look on your home screen. Okay guys, so that's all the features you get with this great Android TV launcher. So let's talk about how you go about getting this Android TV launcher on your device. Now I'm running it on my Nvidia Shield TV Pro, but essentially it can be run on any Android TV device. And all you need to do is go into your downloader installation and at the URL prompt type in E M O T N space L A U N C H E R launcher and press the return. You'll get the following web page. Just scroll down until you come to the official MO10 TV Launcher website. Select it and you'll see the website has got all the information you need. Now what we want is a download link, so just scroll down to download and click on the button. And then just wait for it to download. And the whole process shouldn't take more than a few moments. Once it is downloaded, you'll get the option to install it, click on install. And again, the installation process is pretty quick. You'll get the message app is installed. Now don't click open. Just click on done and you'll get the following message pop up. Now because we've already installed the file, we can delete it from your device. Okay, now you can go back to your applications and scroll down until you come to the Emo 10 icon and simply click on it. Now when you first start up the launcher, you'll get this message. Just click on allow and that's it guys. You're ready to set up your new Android TV launcher. Now straight away, I know I'm going to get loads of people commenting down below. How do I set this launcher as my default launcher? And luckily for you guys, I have a solution and it's called Button Mapper. And the great thing is it's available on the Google Play Store. Just type in Button Mapper in the Google Play Store and it should be the first thing that pops up. And it literally takes seconds to install as it's such a small app. And once it's installed, you'll find it in your app section on your device. And all you need to do is select the home button option and select customize, select single tap, and then you'll get the actions window. And here you can select the application you want to launch when you single tap the home button on your remote. So of course, I'm going to select the Android TV launcher, MO10, and that's it, you're set up. So if I come out of the app, click on the home button on your remote and straight away, we're into the TV launcher. How cool is that? Anyway, guys, if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like and do consider subscribing for more great videos to come in this channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.